Hello, I'm back. I've committed to doing a second journal. Um, I decided since I have these other, the other journal kit printed, the leftovers of it, I can print a few more sheets if I need it. I might as well use it and do a second book. This one will be my design team project and the other one will just be an extra journal to put in my shop. Uh, I want to show you the lace that I used to finish this off. Just a little golden tan trim and the same on the inside and then this crochet trim along the top. So this journal is, this cover is ready. For this one I put it all together so you didn't have to watch me do that again and I used this pretty floral fabric and I'm using this image from the other kit which I have to remember the name of. I think it seems like it has the word jazz in it but I may be wrong. Anyway, I love this image and so I'm putting that on the front. I put some light blue cardstock around it. And then I wanted some silver on here. There's gold on this one, gold paint, and I wanted some silver here. So I remembered that I had all these pieces of metallic paper left over from my card making days. So I just cut a little piece, a little strip to the right height, and then use this border punch that I haven't used in forever. This is EK Success. I thought that looked kind of Art Deco, which is part of the 1920s era. So I am going to adhere that behind it. And I'm going to do that now. I have this trim that has some gray in it. I don't know if I have enough to put down here. can't find the end of it. It's taped. Why would I do that? Well, there's not enough to do the front and the back, I don't think. Let me see if I have another roll of that. I do not, but I have this one. It's got gray on it too. So I'll have to, I'll put the picture down first and then I'll put this down. I guess I'll use this one. Actually, I think I'll use my ATG tape and then just maybe put a little of my glue around that lacy edge if I can without making too much of a mess. Just a little to help it lay flat and not get caught bent. You can see that this fabric isn't on there straight because there's a little gap here and not here, but putting this trim on will help disguise that. Why 
I put the cap on it. I wanted it. So I'll have to get some more of this gray trim. There's two, these two different designs that have gray at Hobby Lobby and I love them. Speak Easy Street. That's the name of that. Speak Easy Street. Phew, I'm glad I remembered that. Now, I already pulled this paper that I thought was great to go with this. The style of it looks like it would go with the 40 or 20s, and the color is great for this book. So this is going to be fun doing two different books with the same uh, theme, but very different because they're going to be using different kits and one will be warm tones and one will be cool tones so this will be fun I found a piece of stationery that I think will be great too to use I'll show it to you in just a second I have several pieces of it so I can use it in both journals and I got it free a year or so ago or maybe more. I got a nice stash of vintage, sorry for the squeaking, <laughs> a nice stash of vintage stationery and I need to get it out and use it. So I looked through it today and found this and thought, oh, that's perfect. And I think it'll go with both color schemes. Here it is. It has gold and silver. And it has an Art Deco look to it. Perfect. And look at the back. And there are envelopes. I'm excited to get to use this. And this might come in handy here too. I think somebody sent this to me. And it's silver, silvery, grayish silver. I'm not going to put it here, but I think I'll use it in the book, in the pages. Might just use this flowered one here. Okay, that's pretty. Got one flower too many.
I love working on the pages. So I'm at the end of my work day here, I think. I still have to pack some orders and then I have to do some of my housework. I'm trying to my housework right now is consisting of purging. And this week I'm going to work on purging in the dining room, which contains my desk and my files. So and my CDs. I have a pretty large CD collection and I have to organize it into genres because I let it get all messed up and maybe purge some that I don't listen to anymore. I would love to have all of my music digitized but I don't. So the dining room is going to be a bit of work. But I'm going to be impatient to get started on the pages. I might have to do a little bit on them before I go to bed. <laughs> I have trouble sleeping if I, well, I have trouble sleeping all the time, but I'll be in there thinking, well, if I can't sleep tonight, I can go start on my pages, and then that will mean that I won't sleep because I want to get up and start on my pages. Does that make sense? I sabotage myself. Part of my work time today was spent going to the flea market and mailing stuff, and I still haven't packed any orders. I need to pack orders so I can go to the post office for like three days in a row to get all these orders sent, and then I can list the playing cards that I bought today and something from my stash, probably paper dolls. All right, I think that's the cover done, except for what I have, whatever I do to the inside. This is going to be a pretty journal, isn't it? I like it. I like them both. So stay tuned to see what else I do in these Flapper Girl journals. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.